Glenn, this uh, is the only helicopter that ever flew Pope John, I believe. Uh, that, that's actually uh, not correct. We did not fly Pope John. Uh, we landed, uh, I say we, Vertol Aircraft and Sabina Airlines, landed this helicopter in the Vatican, and it was blessed by Pope John. He did not fly in the ship. Oh, I see. It's the first uh, one that was ever landed in the Vatican. It is the first, and to our knowledge, to the present time, the only helicopter that has ever landed uh, in the Vatican. Uh, the pilot on that uh, ship at that time was Mr. Bill Coffey, who is here with us, uh, Vertol Aircraft. Mm -hmm. is their chief pilot. Now, lifting a large objects like this geodesic dome, does that have a practical application for the future? We feel very strongly that it does. We are primarily interested in construction by air, laying of pipelines, pouring of concrete. We have a concrete hopper that we can pour uh, concrete by air, building of bridges, planning of telephone poles uh, in inaccessible areas. We eliminate the right-of-way problems in doing construction by air. And we have a very strong feeling that uh, it is a future to be explored in, in the world, and we want to explore it. Well, let's explore right now this geodesic dome with Tom Armstrong. Tom, come over here a moment, if you would, please. Tell us just a bit, real briefly, about this geodesic dome. Well, this is a 110-foot geodesic dome that's 34 feet high at the top point up there. It's designed to travel to 24 towns so that we can put on a traveling road show. We have a top talent cast from Broadway, uh, original music, 42-foot panoramic screen, plus all of the latest theatrical techniques that you can apply to bring our product story to the farm and industrial people throughout the United States. This is remarkable. I don't know how you get all of that in there. You also have tractors moving in and out and various implements, don't you? We have 46 tractors and 70 pieces of machinery that will go through here, including a 12-foot self-propelled combine. Well, this is probably the most revolutionary road show in history, the first time I've ever heard of a theatrical performance being given inside one of these. This is a first. Yep. This is the first and probably the only one in existence at this point. We do have another unit that is traveling up the East Coast. In just a moment, we hope we'll see another first, too as Bud's uh, Atlas helicopter here tries to lift this off the ground. What's the total weight there, Bud? We are just uh, are grossing out at about 14,000 pounds.